Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I stand before your cheap cell phone screen today to show you yet another rusty dusty project. And I know I haven't been uploading in a while due to exams and schoolwork is much more important than holding a camera in my hand. Without any further ado, let me show you my new project car. Now I know there's nothing special about this car yet, but I do have many plans that will come in the future. Um, yeah, we'll definitely be doing a paint job, yeah, maybe sometime next year or something. But for December time, we're just gonna take things easy and we'll go from there. Uh, this car is a new spec shell, uh, it got the new spec doors, the water bottle, but it's not a new new spec, it's like those early 2000s, it's still got the uh, old spec dashboard, uh, these seats I'll definitely be cleaning them up in a future video and they'll definitely be for sale but I don't think anyone will even be interested in them um, we still got the old spec steering wheel um, there's a lot of plastics here just to keep the rainwater out for now and um, there's still like some water that got in before I even got the car but yeah there's some wiring here. It basically is a complete car, just without the engine and gearbox. So yeah, I found quite a lot of goodies. Uh, there's the engine mount here. There's uh, something here. There's someone's nuts. Um, I feel sorry for that person's wife. Tonight they're not going to find the nuts. Um, um, this does look familiar. I know it from somewhere, but yeah, maybe it fell off. <laughs> so yeah, uh, it's not much of a car now, but in the future it definitely will be something special. So basically my plan is to take whatever I can from this car and put it here including like the engine and stuff maybe some other things but i'll definitely be looking in for some new spec parts as well there's some windows here as you can see that is a bottle cap and that is just the tip of the iceberg this car was definitely an alcoholics car i Maybe that's like a cigar burn or something. There's not a normal tear. Yeah. There's another cup there for your mates while you're dopping. <laughs> then the boot here, it's loaded with stuff. There's some beer bottles, some cans, some lights as well. Yeah. I got the fenders and the bumper out. I took out the fender just to see if there's some rust underneath the strut tower. And this color on the fender 
is kind of growing on me. I might uh, clean it up, give it a polish later, and see from there. The car does have a bit of rust. There is some work to do, but it's not as bad as that car. So, yeah. Now, the front panel is a bit like a bench here. Um, I might replace it. Or we could just like kind of beat it back into place, but we'll see. Um, there is a bit of rust here, and uh, but it's not that bad. It, none of it quite came through on this side of it, and yeah, just like minor welding and stuff. Now I did come across the wiring and. A lot of it has been cut, so I'll probably be using the loom from that car and just transferring everything here. And this is the new spec water bottle, and I think it came factory with that bracket. I mean, if I had to put a new spec bottle in that car to make your own brackets and stuff, your um. The steering rack, I'll probably bring it over from that car. It's slightly newer on that car. Um, the main thing I was worried about was the chassis leg. Now, on my old Golf, the chassis leg was completely shot. That's, that's the main reason why I bought the shell. And I got it for a reasonable price. And, but like the work in the end will be, well that will be like a long journey, but at least I have you guys here to join me along this journey of life, <laughs> or whatever you want to call it. Um, I, I will be putting those, I think it's called disc, um, disc retaining screws that hold the disc into the hub. As you can see, it's like completely disconnected. Yeah, I mean, the normal wheel nuts will hold it in, but to like every time you want to change a tire to keep on like having this play and to align stuff, I think the screw is about five bucks or something. So, yeah, I'll be looking into that. So, I don't know what else to say. The bonnet is primed, but it wasn't painted, so yeah, there is quite a bit of work to do, but nothing too bad. So a piece of my stand actually broke off, so I'll be doing this with my phone in my left hand. I already sprayed it down with some engine cleaner which you definitely should not do if you care about your paint or your car but just to remove any oily and greasy stuff there I sprayed it down so I'm just gonna wipe it off with a damp towel to get off all the dirt and yeah I'll do a quick polish later just to see how the paint looks or how the paint is supposed to look without all of this uh, dirt on it. <laughs> struggles, guys, struggles. It's actually looking quite good, actually. Much better than I expected. I'll give it a polish or I'll just uh, rinse it off for now and give it a quick polish and see how it looks. So while wiping it off it had like a rough kind of like a gritty texture. I don't think like um, after they sprayed it they even polished it at all. So I applied a thin little coat of polish because well this car I mean this panel is going to be rubbed down in the future 
just waiting for it to haze up a tiny bit more then I can buff it out and uh, we'll see the true color of this paint so I left it to haze for a bit and um, yeah it's ready for a buff wax on wax off I'm just gonna put the camera down for a moment because it's kind of hard doing this with a camera in your hand but in a future video I'm sure the stand will be back and yeah so like I told you guys that there was like a roughish kind of texture there well before polishing I thought it was just dust or something but now you can actually see supposed to have like a glittery finish but it looks like just a lot of overspray and after polishing it looks worse than it was before it was absolutely terrible I mean the color is nice but the feel and you can actually see the like the grittiness in person worse than I imagine but it's a good thing that well we're gonna be rubbing it down anyway and yeah the respray is coming soon so yeah stay tuned guys so you've reached the end of today's video and I've showed you well whatever I could show you or whatever's left of this car and yeah thank you guys for making it to the end of the video and if you did make it here and you're still listening to me comment something down below i'd be really interested in your thoughts and to see what you have to say and yeah there's a lot more coming but we might take it easy for the christmas like uh, festive season but yeah stay tuned guys there's a lot of things coming soon and in the previous video the one with the kind of fake 2JZ Golf. Uh, that was a bit bad. But yeah, I did say that I will be taking a break for uh, for a while from all the videoing and stuff. But yeah, we'll see how things go. And thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe and stay tuned for more. Let your kids watch it! And yeah, we've successfully been attacked by the monkeys. And I feel sorry for my paint, my car, and everything. Rest in peace. I mean, they could have just attacked that one. But here they go, round two with this one as well. Rust is not a crime, guys. Rust is not a crime. And uh, what you guys think of my backyard bonnet stand? Yeah, um, it's all broom and well, I don't know what that is, but yeah, I guess with the broom you can say I swept the car off its feet slash wheels slash it doesn't have wheels slash that was the worst joke I ever made in my.